What up? It's your girl Nick. What up, Mob Squad? I'm back again with another video, and today we're gonna talk about how I feel about being adopted. Before we get started with this video, make sure y'all smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, and the bell right next to the subscribe button so you can be notified when I upload on my channel. So y'all send me questions all the time on IG and most of the questions I get are about my adoption story. Y'all keep sending me those questions because I'm gonna keep doing videos on them. I definitely wanted to touch bases on this because I get this question all the time. Like, how do you feel about being adopted? Either they're considering adopting a child one day or they have been adopted themselves and just wanna see my perspective on it. Honestly, guys, like, being adopted was a blessing for me. Like, I get really emotional when I talk about it because um, my adopted parents. Um, I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I didn't really want to cry on this video, to be honest. Like, I don't know why I'm crying right now. I'm just emotional, I guess. I don't know. I'm sensitive. I'm a Pisces. Shit. <sighs> Hang on, let me get myself together. All right, y'all, uh, I'm sorry about that. How I really feel about being adopted, I am really happy that I got adopted, you know, cause obviously there's so many kids out there who need homes and a lot of people uh, didn't think that this was gonna be emotional for me. All right. Okay. I mean, I'm super, super grateful for being adopted. A lot of kids don't get that opportunity. You know what I'm saying? Um, I was adopted at birth, as y'all know. My moms used to work together. And one of my moms couldn't have children, my adopted mom. You know, I found out at an early age that I was adopted. I remember my mom telling me, like, she just sit me down and let me know that I had the best of both worlds. I think I'm crying because I miss my mom a lot, y'all. Pause. I'm sorry about that. I had to pull myself together and like, whoo, I'm just a ball of emotions today, I guess. How I found out I was adopted. So when I was in school, I, I want to say it was around like first or second grade. I was getting bullied all the time. I was getting bullied because I was black with two Hispanic parents. Obviously, I'm half black, half Mexican, but the kids at school didn't really put two and two together. We're kids, so they don't they only look at what it looks like. My parents were also older than most of the kids my age parents. My dad right now is pushing 73 years old. And then, as you know, my biological mother just turned 50 years old. So there's a 20 year age difference. So kids obviously noticed that at school and they would tease me about it. And I remember the school making a big ordeal about it because the counselor actually came into my class and uh, she brought a Shamu doll. Y'all know Shamu the well. And uh, she pointed at Shamu and they were like, she was like, what color is Shamu? And they're like, black. And then they asked the class, is there anyone in this class that is this color? And everyone looked around and they were like, no. So I remember that vividly. Like they were trying to teach us to not discriminate against one another. And it was crazy because I was so young experiencing this. And I, I feel like now that I look back at it, like maybe it was because of me, maybe it's because I told my parents. I don't know, I never had the opportunity to ask my mom that before she passed away and um, you know, to see if that was a reason. But all of this was around the time that I found out that I was adopted. And one day I went home from school and I was just like, um, I'm getting bullied at school. Like, why, why are they telling me these things? You know, they're telling me that y'all are my grandparents, that, you know, I don't look like you guys and stuff like that. So my parents sat me down and they were like, okay, look, you were adopted. They explained it to me in the coolest way. Now that I look back at it, one, my mom told me I had the best of both worlds, that I was black and Mexican, and that I could share that with the world as as two you know what i'm saying like i have the best of both worlds 
embrace that you know and um so i learned early on what to tell people like if they ask me like hey are you adopted i'm like yeah i got the best of both worlds you know that's how i grew up uh that's what my mom embedded in me. When my mom explained adoption to me, she explained it in a pretty cool way. I thought it was pretty neat. Now that I'm looking back at it, like my mom was really, really clever when it came to educating me about adoption. So my mom actually took me to Walmart. She took me right to the Cabbage Patch Dolls. And I don't know if y'all know what Cabbage Patch Dolls are, but they're little baby dolls and they come with an adoption slip. And so when you buy one, you are adopting the Cabbage Patch doll. There's a name for you to sign the birth certificate and put your name on it and give it a name and stuff like that. I don't know if you can buy Cabbage Patch dolls today, but I thought that was a pretty neat way to teach me about adoption. Now that I look back on it, like back then I didn't know how beneficial that was, but now I'm looking and I'm like, damn, my mom was pretty clever. So yeah, she took me to Walmart. She let me pick out a uh, cabbage patch doll and I picked the black one of course the one that looks like me and uh, I got to adopt a cabbage patch and my mom was like see how you're adopting this baby and you love this baby no matter what you put your name on that paper and you know it's your baby and now that's your baby they also told me all the time that they love me unconditionally and that i completed the family circle when you're adopted i think you need that extra push that extra love that extra care because you're already not too sure where you come from sorry i had to pause the video again because i just kept getting emotional like my my story is really really emotional for me because i've come a long way you know what i'm saying and yeah like so i'm hoping that one day i get to be able to tell the story without crying you know and uh, without being so emotional and stuff like that which i know it's okay to express your emotions but i just want to get through it you know what i'm saying i just want to coast through it right quick so yeah that's how i found out i was adopted um i just literally went went home from school one day <clears throat> and i just asked i asked them and they did not hide anything from me they were very transparent about the situation um and they constantly reminded me all the time that you know i completed the family circle that i have a place in this family you know um that life would not have been the same without me and as i grew up i found out that my mom could not have kids and you know so i literally changed their world and they changed mine but yeah guys that's how i found out that i was adopted if you were adopted let me know how you found out that you were adopted um i know some people didn't even know like my brother had no idea that he was adopted and i just got i couldn't imagine not knowing you know um just going your whole life you know i i just i just couldn't imagine it but maybe one day my brother will get on here and talk about it maybe on his channel but yeah let me know if y'all have any more questions for me i'm gonna try to make as many video responses to y'all's questions as i can um on my adoption story maybe i'll do a q a here soon my best advice for anyone who plans on adopting a child is just to be up front with them and let them know that you love them unconditionally because i can tell you right now that that's what what made everything for me is that i was loved i couldn't imagine it being any other way like i, I was loved unconditionally and that's what made me feel like family blood didn't matter to me you know it was all about the love and unconditional love from that i received from my family my entire family not just my mom and dad just my whole family all together let me know if y'all want me to do more videos on my adoption story if so leave it down in the comments below don't forget to like this video and smash that subscribe button and the bell right next to it so y'all can get notified when i upload on my channel and let's get to these twitter shout outs my first twitter shout out is gonna go to c shorty 0917 shout out to you thank you for all the retweets all the love i appreciate you so much my next twitter shout out is going to underscore underscore Score V A L L E E. Is it Valley? I think it is Valley. Something like that. I hope I said it right. <laughs> thank you so much for all the support, guys. Like, I can't thank you guys enough on each and every video. Like, I hope that y'all know that I love y'all. 
so much like like y'all are family you know what i'm saying the mob squad is real y'all keep me motivated and like i can't even ask for anything more than that like i appreciate you guys so much like i said leave a comment down below let me know what y'all think about this whole uh adoption story if y'all want me to do more videos on it let me know and i'll see y'all in the next video until next time mob squad i'm out Nothing less than I would you